So this is the um, pink down, the lychee fruit, the first layer, a very light color. And I try to make sure there's no any mark between. So you can see some color too strong. It's not connected with other part. Then you can do a little bit. Mm, this much day, maybe. And now maybe it's waiting to dry. It's not every single one covered with pink because some of them are they are still um, getting growing. So it still will be a green. So I leave those to do the green in a minute. The lychee fruit is done in uh, the first layer, so I will do uh, a little bit pink on the bird's back as well. Just a little bit of colour. Okay, now I have, I have been put three uh, times the colour on the lychee and the leaves and uh, um, a little bit on the bird as well. So this is a third time waiting for dry now. So what um, it looks like now, it's the after three times put the colours over. Each time just really light colour, um, included uh, the dark shade and light shade uh, used separate them. But still, um, they have a very light colour every single layer on, so I did three. And next step will be um, fun, which is the seal, uh, the colour in. Um, after three times, you, you put one layer of the seal uh, liquid to, to um, seal the colour in, in case it's sun sunk down um, to underneath the silk. Okay. So we need total nine times at least, nine times of the colour and three times of the seal. So um, even so, the picture still looks light coloured, not too strong. It's not like a western painting, the colour goes on straight away, and you want to show much colour uh, to uh, absorb in. But the Chinese painting, it's especially on the silk, many layers still looks really light. Um, not like the three dimensions of <laughs> the western ones, you, you try to shape and dimension the um, object. But Chinese painting, it was uh, lighter and basically like two dimension. The three dimensions, it's more shaded. Um, as using a colour, different shades. Okay. Okay, uh, now I put a little bit more um, ink and colour all over and make it more clear now. So I will look closer to the bird. I did a little bit more feathers on the back, slightly darker colour on the feathers and tail, and around the head as well. Also, I did the tree more shaded, um, slightly darker and show the stock as well. So now I show you um, how did I do for the shaded tree. This is really thin um, so you need a smaller brush, quite thin one. Good brush, it's a really good tool to help you towards um, achieve the details. There's another technique, it's called the twin, which is the brush um, quite dry, so less water. Um, when you choose the right shade, you just make the brush go um, from down to up way. So you don't want the smooth effect, you want a little bit more rough looking, so you go down to up, so very dry brush. Even it's very light shade, but still quite dry and rough looking. So you can see the brush is actually looks very dry. Nice and sunny day today, so you can see the light is more brighter. It's a perfect day uh, to do really detailed part.
So if you look at the whole picture now, you can compare which part is on the front and which part is going on the back. So the bird is on the very front and then the trees light your food. This one is closer to your eyes. So you make sure this part and the bird is more clear and detailed. Um, it's also like Western painting um, or your painting and stuff. You do need um, look at the dimension which which um, closer to you, which is more clear and detailed, which is a bit further back, like this light your food on this part of the um, the tree. It's actually slightly underneath this major part, so it's slightly lighter color all around, just for the trees. And then because um, the bird is quite close and it's a major project, so you need a bit more clear and detail. So this is the third time I did all um, over everywhere. Check this wheel. Okay, uh, we've done the first three layers um, to cover all the colors on and ink, uh, beginning with. So today I um, have to do a little bit detail about the lychee fruits. So I will show you. The brush I'm using today is majorly the sheep's hair one and just um, some thin and longer one for the um, bumpy parts of the lychee fruit. So I get ready for the ink just a little bit and also the colors. The colors I need today is this beer. Let's start now. So I'm first going to choose these two little ones to put the uh, lychee um, different colors on. So the color I'm using is called yanzhi, which is the blusher. You know, days we use um, one kind of flower, which is pink. You put um, in a little bit water and uh, um, soak the flower's petal and uh, um, squash them together until the juice come out and you can use that color so this color called yanzhi yanzhi is um, very dark pink just a little bit diluted with water so you can see i hold the brush like this two together so one was the really thin and small one you put there for the the bumpy part is. Let's show you this little one. So before the color goes dry quickly you need to uh, spread out a little bit. So it's not the color stains. So that's how you use your brush with two brushes uh, in one hand. So the little one has got the colour and the bigger one has only got the water. So you need shaping it like uh, which part is the darker colour when you put the colour on. And this one is for diluting a little bit with water. So make it generally um, uh, like when this light on, make it um, like two of these. Right.
red heart, uh, the pink heart, my chin. It's mostly the, the first time, okay. And then they're gonna do the, the green one, which is, um, it's not done yet. The green fruit. So now you choose another set of uh, two brushes. The girl one, thinner one, small one. Um, and this is a mix of hair. Half softer but half strong. Um, it's easier to make the shape. Uh, it's slightly thicker one, it's the uh, rabbit hair, so it's much softer and holding more water for uh, absorbing the water and spreading the colour out. So I'm using this green. This green is called Shi Lu, which is that stone green. And it's the um, third time um, green. Okay, the green we have the three ones, three green. The first one is called Tou Lu, second one is called uh, Zhong Lu, Er Lu, and this third one is Shi Lu, also Sam Lu. This one is more covering, so you don't need a lot of colour, just a little bit. And again, this big one only holding water to dilute. Okay, let's try from this one start. You can see the colour, it's more covering. Let's dial it a little bit. Make it more naturally a round shape. <laughs> so the green, the green one we're actually using the navy blue hatching this color made um, of a type of flower but maybe it's a flower stock the color is quite light it, it's easily covered so we can use a little bit more color so you can shape it a little bit i found it's quite strong this color because i might put too much on so i really need quickly dilute it so you don't want to begin with that too much color Yeah, every time you put colour on, you don't want to be straight away, show the colour too much. Because Chinese painting, if you do too much colour from that Qing dynasty, um, Ming dynasty, actually, it's it's not um, that type of painting from that century. So you need to do really, really light colour to start with. And if you, you want a bit more colour, you can do it later on when it's dry. Um, so it's not coverable, so better start with light, lighter one. The green fruit is much smaller, so we don't want to show it detail too much, so we just make it more likely fading out of your size, so it's quite a light colour to show that it's not those um, very front of fruits. Just to make sure, um, the thinner brush with the colour, um, put the colour in and the diluted one followed straight away. Don't leave too long. If the colour dried, then it will have a mark there, so you can't really change. Okay, the green part also on the first layer, first time. Okay, the colour is dried now, um, so next thing is put a really, really light ink on, um, on the light cheek fruit. So I start with the one really front, so you need to show more details. Very really light ink, diluted with water, which makes it light.
So now it's the ink from um, the bumpy part to make it more shows the uh, 3D motion. Lychee with um, the color of Yanju, which is the blusher color, it's all done. And next it's called um, Zhu Sha, which is slightly orange color, um, cover color to go over the lychee, the red part, the pink part of it. Zhao Ran is means all over. Uh, Fen Ran is means um, like separately coloring, which is like you making the different shape and uh, the detail of the, each part of the shell of the lychee fruit, the pink one, the blusher color to go separate detail you put them in some part with ink as well and now zhao ran means you um, go over so the color of zhu sha you can say it's more orange red color like a color color again you don't need uh, a lot just a little bit with water diluted to really light color and let's try to put one first zhao ran which is meaning go over go all over I think it's too much, so I wet the brush again. Go over with Zhu Sha. Zhu Sha is the color got more coverage, so you can see cover all well. It's too wet, so I'm gonna take the color out for a bit. Okay. Yeah, just a bit warmness of the lychee fruit. So the red part of lychee is done, and now we use. The, another green to cover the red, the green part and um, it's called Shi Lu which is the third time of green which is also stone green slightly like a turquoise color just need a little bit diluted with water again to go over all the fruits the green part okay. if I found it's a little bit too much color or too wet then I will uh, make it equal and not cover all the details so I just need the light color go through all covered with a green part okay so the green part is done we are waiting for dry now so again I choose a little brush tiny brush to uh, get some slightly darker ink because I already done this one on the front so next one um, would be this one a bit further, slightly um, like lighter and glowier than the front one. Okay, just to dip in the ink, don't want it too much so um, just a little bit color black. This is how I did it. I did the darkest part. And then quickly um, diluted with the ink slightly lighter. Also the green part of this as well, give a little bit more details on the skin. Yeah, it's very patient work to do for these little details. It's almost a lost parts you do for them so just have more patience
So yes, I've done a bath pass, which is the ink shaping it and make it more bumpy and um, um, spiky skin. And now I, I sort of the colour a little bit too dark, so I want to put some um, um, red on it. So there's two different red. Uh, one is called Shu Hong, uh, one is called Yanju. So I mix them up. This one's Yanju, is slightly more pink, and Shu Hong is a little bit red. So I'll mix them up together. And of course, they need to dilute it with water as well because it's too dark. So the red part of red sheet done, and now I'll put a little bit of ink on the back of the bird, very light one, just to go over the hairs. Okay, start with the uh, middle, darkest colour, and then spreading out. And now will be the green part of the lychee fruit, so the, the color will be um, like grass green, but in uh, my top color set doesn't um, have that green, so I have to mix them up. So I'll use yellow and the navy blue, mix, make it grass green. A little bit more. This closer one. And now it's the tree, put some color on, which is zhe shi, um, it's the brown, light brown. So again, use just a bit color, light brown. Okay, put some. Uh, I put some new ink today. Um, in this case, because um, 
the um, old ink will be dried out and become like a um, bit and bit not really smooth. So we say not using last night's ink. Always use a fresh one. Yeah. Last night's one. <laughs> Costs two more. This part I've done yesterday, and today I've done this part of the tree. Hello everyone, um, today I'm going to finish my uh, this bird and the lychee fruit pint um, to get the last layer done. As you can see I move outside today uh, in the garden because the sun is lovely and you can hear the bird chipping. So um, the last layer you need to check all through everything on your pint it has done properly and all the details to, to be finished. First of all I check the bird. So the bird back and, and the tummy and uh, most of the thing it's done like that the only thing is a little bit um, on the beaker the beak is one thing you need to do which is the white so I always leave the white to do the last because as you know white is cover really really heavy so I put the last of it and uh, a little tip for white when you squeeze out from the tube it has glue on so when it's glue on it you you really find the white is quite thin and it's difficult to mix with other color so by putting a little jar any jar you can find like a glass jar or even uh, something with a lid on and uh, you put a little bit water with the white to keep in there so the glue it will automatically uh, separate it with the color so after a few hours and uh, you throw that water out so what is left is without the glue so it's easier to put the color on so I'll, the last a little bit is the mixed with white and a tiny little bit yellow just to need a little bit to put on the thicker a little line around there of the black line and then button bit as well still on top of the black line there a little circle around the, uh, around the eyes as well on top of the black line So with this line, you can see the eyes is more vivid and live, lively. Yeah, so you can see the eyes more, um, more like a real one. <laughs> also, a little bit on the um, little foot as well. So that foot will uh, more stand out. Okay, so that is the tiny little white color I'm using to make it more um, lively. Also, on the um, tiny part, a little bit around the fairs as well. Just give it a tiny little lines there. Okay. Just a bit. Okay, so the bird is done now. So, I'm finished um, for the front now. So last layer on the front, I'm done. And next thing I will show you to do the background with another technique, back paint. For now, um, the bird I'm getting closer to show you. So today I just did the bird and the beaker, the white line you can see. 
maybe on the last video uh, it's really a bit far, can't really show you. So when it's closer, you can see the eyes around here, there's a white circle to finish, and the feet, and on the body, the fair part, I've got a slight little white fair around as well. So the bird is finished. And the leaves also, I did another um, layer for uh, both sides of it. So the light comes from this side, and this side slightly darker, and that side slightly lighter. So that's leaves. And that one as well, it's a little bit more. And now I think I found the some leaves, um, the, the vein, not really show much. It's getting too light because the colour cover it. So we're going to do a little bit incline around the veins. So th this will fine. Got that one a little bit fading. Okay, so I'm going to do that in a minute. So I dip a little bit ink and mix water, make it quite light colour. So I think maybe it's too light, so I give a little bit more ink. Yeah, that's about the right darkness. Okay. So the outer line first. And the veins. So that leaf is done, and I check all through. Yeah, the other's fine. So I think I'm gonna finish it today, just like this. Okay. Remember, before you um, leave it, everything you need to check your brush. I use the four brushes today, so I need to re really rinse them, even just slightly color on it, or a little bit ink on it. But you need really rinse out slowly. Make sure no any color left on brush the next time when you use the queen and I usually choose in different sizes different uh, softness for the um, cool tones or warm tones for uh, different brushes so you not mix them up as you can see this one is more pink tones or uh, red or orange yellow tones so this one is for the warm tones and uh, another one it was more green and blue so the cool tones I use another brush so you remember that next time then you won't mix them up end of all black or grey, that's not nice. So, okay, the tips is, is rinse through and leave it air dry. Okay, thank you very much. And the ink, um, I need to wash it out slowly as well because um, especially the fine art, the fine painting, uh, you don't want to use um, the ink you put in last time or last night. We call sumo, which is last night ink. It's not good at all for uh, paint on silk because it will affect um, some like uh, rough rough uh, or shiny that you don't want on your paint so rinse that through and for the colour I usually use a little sponge to get it wet and cover it so keep it moist it won't go dry and next time you can still use as normal okay that's how you um, clean or um, keep your colours nice hello everyone um, Today I'm going to show you the last part of uh, this bird and lighty painting. So I finished all on the front of the paint and now I'm going to turn over the silk to do the background of this painting to make it more like the, the ancient time painting. So you want it looks a bit more old rather than uh, new. So there is a very special method to do this to make the new painting look like an old paint. So this is the Chinese tea. I used the red tea. So you need a little bit darker color so you, you're gonna use quite a bit tea leaves and uh, to you know use the boiling water to make the tea and let it cool down and then you can use this wider brush for doing the background. So first, you wet the brush, so you can tell the color of my red tea is quite deep. Uh, you can do a little bit lighter, um, and then to do a few layers to create the color you want. So start with, you don't do on the paint itself, like the lanchi or the tree or the bird. You do the background first, all of the empty part. So I'm going to start in the center, because you can see it's quite wrinkly, this paper now, where the part I've painted. 
So a little bit careful, don't touch any close to the bird and the other part yet. So as you can see, some parts are more color than others. So you make sure you equal the color out. And for the edges, we use a small brush to finish with the fine part. So I don't want to touch the bird yet. I would have a look first which part I need this color on. So to do that, use a smaller brush and equal the color out as well. So on the center of the painting first, carefully. So before it's completely dry, make sure everywhere the color is equal. Colored all first. So remember, because you paint on the back of your painting, so the color will show less when you turn over to see the front. So still we need to do light color start with and then you can put more color if you think it's too light. But because my tea is quite dark, um, as you see the redness, the brownness, so maybe one layer should be enough, but I need to check properly when I finish this part. Okay, and now I can do the outside part. Because today is quite a hot day and also windy in the garden, so the color dry out really quickly. So which means you need to do it a bit quicker than normal. If you're indoors, you can do a little bit slower than this. But make sure all the colors equal. Important things I said three times. Okay, equal color. Don't make uh, any watermarks anywhere. That looks obvious. Merge out all color from center. Cover all the corners as well. Yeah, check again. Make sure not missed any part. Okay, around the, make sure around the bird body not touch the bird yet. Okay, all the middle part and detail we have done, so we need to make sure there's no any color being all together. So again, I do it from center out. So in this way, you not leave any obvious color of the T on a certain part. So the whole paint is covered with the T on the back now, and it's on the background as well, not on the burden, any fruits yet. So I'm gonna wait till dry and have a look at the front 